draw the line from O to M? Radius. Talk to me now. Radius. So this is radius and this is what radius? Can we agree that this side and this side are equal? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. If those two sides are equal, this triangle is an isosceles triangle. The two equal sides meet at the apex, and opposite from the apex is the base. What is the apex? The two base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. If this is theta, this is also theta. Ladies and gentlemen, so what is the apex? Can't ask me <laughs> Let's go. The two base angles, don't worry, I can cut that from the video. I cut it from the video. <laughs> go, what, what, what do you mean? Yes. Anyway, can't ask me nothing. Come class, and that's for the come school. I learn. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's go again. The two equal sides of an isosceles triangle meet at the apex. Opposite from the apex is the base. The two base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. Alright, well, therefore, can you agree therefore that theta plus theta plus 110 is equal to 180 degrees? Can you agree? Yes, sir. Why? They are interior angles of an isosceles triangle. So let me write. They are interior angles of an isosceles triangle. Are you with me? One more time now. What do the man say you must do? You must find the answers, but you must give a what? Reason. What is my reason for saying that these three angles equal to 180? They are the interior angles of an isosceles triangle. Two theta. Positive 110 both will over and become what? Negative. So it's 180 minus 110. 2 theta is equal to 70 degrees. What do I do last? Divide by 2. Divide both sides by 2. Theta is equal theta, which is angle what? Angle L M N is equal to 35 degrees. Alright, so. Sir, LMO. LMO, thank you. And the LMO is equal to 35 degrees. It's equal to 35 degrees. Just give you an appreciation as to how do you go about answering a circle theorem question. Alright? Um, what is important, the, the examiner more than likely will tell you to what? Um, find the angle and give a reason for your answer. One, two. Even if he doesn't say give a reason, you must give a reason. Please listen. Giving the reason is part of the solution. If you do not give the reason, you're going to lose marks. Half of the answer, half of the mark. Then we're at the center. So, so far, what have we learned? We have learned that one, um, the angle angles in a set, sorry, angles in the same segment are equal. We have learned that angles in the same segment are equal. Um, characteristics that the same starting point on the what? The start at what? One end of a chord and ends at the other end of the chord, and the angle itself is formed at the circumference. So the angle that is formed at the circumference in the same segment, those angles are equal. Angles which are formed at the same circumference at the circumference in the same segment are equal. Number two, we've learned that the angle in a semicircle is equal to 90 degrees. The angle in a semicircle is equal to 90 degrees. So the angle starts at one end of the diameter, ends at the other end of the diameter, and the 90 degree angle is formed at the circumference. The third thing we learned, the angle at the center is equal to two times the angle at the circumference. The angle at the center is equal to two times the angle at the circumference. Alright, the fourth thing I'm going to talk to you about 
But before I do that, before, before I give you the fourth theorem, I'm going to talk to you about, um, I'm going to talk to you about cyclic quadrilateral. What? Cyclic quadrilateral. It's all right, I got seven on board. Cyclic quadrilateral. Cyclic. is a quadrilateral in which a quadrilateral that is drawn inside of a circle such that the four vertices are touching the circumference. So, for example, Inside of a circle such that what the four vertices are touching the circumference. It's called a cyclic quadrilateral. Oh my god. Are we racing over here? Are we racing over here? Which brings us to the fourth theorem. Cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Um, supplementary. There were two angles that add up to 180 degrees. Supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 100 and 80 degrees. Opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. P Q R S. Do you agree that P Q R S is a cyclic quadrilateral? Yes. Why? Because the four vertices are touch a circle. The four vertices are touching the circumference. Now, um, the angle at what? S, sorry, Q, let's call it theta. And the angle at what? S, let's call it alpha. Those two angles are opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. Opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral must add up to what? 180. Therefore, theta plus alpha is equal to 180 degrees, they are opposite 